we have a photo shoot today so i'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of the shoot directing it getting all the shots etc i'm currently on my way to a van i've rented so i can go pick up all the stuff from the studio and then head straight to the shoot we are now in the studio the time is about 9 30. it is a massive studio i'll give you guys a tour so coming in here we've got a full line of criddle style windows we've got the team we've got a little couch area kitchen area we've got all the clothes over here and hair and makeup and a beautiful blush wall we are going to start setting everything up getting ready for our shot number one you live in my dream step we look at my fantasy i stay in reality you live in my dream step and one down the lens as well chin up a touch that's it cool Right. Yeah, I think yeah. we got that. Can we try and see if we can pull the t-shirt front a little bit just because it feels like it's quite it's quite it's longer on the back. Yeah, perfect. Good, and then one eye is off to the window again. That's the one. How do you want how do you want to do? Do you want to do two stars? Two stars? Yeah. Okay. So to make our workflow faster and not have to do all of it after the shoot's done, we basically highlight <laughs> we basically star or mark the, the images we like and select so we can quickly after the shoot find our 10 images of each outfit instead of having to sift through everything after we do while we're shooting while model is getting changed so that's what we're going to do for every every look yeah yeah real real tight crop of my fingernails All right, have you, you got the shot? I'll get, get the assistant in. <laughs> you do this. Right, you're Metro Boon. You're the one with the talent, and Elliot's the one that just like <laughs> makes stuff up. The one who's, who does the ad libs. When we do shoots, there's always something that goes wrong, something that's missing, something that doesn't come in time. So, literally flown in are the four jeans we're gonna shoot with. They just came on time. Got shipped yesterday. So we got the black pair that came in. Beautiful. Beautiful. The stonewashed blue pair come in. Also beautiful. Well, I'm basically just putting everything into looks, just to make it easier later on when you have to style everything and know that it's all in the looks what it has to be in. And then in terms of sort of accessories, we've got a scarf we can use, we've got a running tote, driving gloves. So just extra things that we can sort of use. Sunglasses, we've got an umbrella, we've got the whole shebang. Right, left hand further forward into your body, that other way, that's it, like that, yeah. Okay, so we're, we're going to show a tiny little bit more of this elbow. Okay, left arm back a little bit more, a bit less, just the half that. Yeah. Anytime I count, she must have only told me makeup, makeup. You exist behind my eyelids, my eyelids, I don't want to wake up. How are we doing? How's it going? <coughs> so we've shot the three t shirts now, and now we're going to shoot. Full looks where we've got trousers, hoodie, jacket, etc. And that's where we'll have a little bit more creativity with the freedom of the styling, the more interesting outfits. So basically, we don't know if we're going to go for the black boots and the black gloves or the brown. We've got left side is black, right side is brown. In my opinion, I think black. I mean, the best thing to do is just take one shot and then see how it looks. Personally, I prefer the brown. But from a brown perspective, the black probably makes more sense. I just think the brown feels like a bit warmer with the black glove, I don't know. Normally, I think the black shoe looks better than the brown, brown glove. glove. Okay, let's let's try a new shot where you push the jacket out and put the hands in your front pockets. This is giving Hollister. It's a bit preppy. Yeah, I think especially with the scarf. Black boots and black gloves. Just for consistency and continuity, whatever it's called, we can use the same boots for every outfit. 
instead of swapping to another pair for just one outfit. Could you take a tiny step to your left, there you go. Yeah. We are currently doing a two camera setup. So we've got the main camera to do all the lookbook and all the, I guess, high resolution pictures. And we've got a phone to just film constantly all the outfits from a static position so we can edit in and out of the shots for BTS, for reels, for shorts, etc. Biggest secret on shoots, clips. Revealing the biggest secret on sets? Yeah, yeah I think that's good. That's yeah. good, yeah. I think for this one, this uh, frame, I think these shots are banging. Yeah, I agree, I think they're stronger. It also feels quite Christmassy, which is nice. Uh, it, is, it is gonna come out right before Christmas, so. Getting some grey out here, with still a detail in the scarf. One strong leg here. This is probably going to be our sort of leading image. So, look one, done. And now we're going to move on to look number two. 20, 20, 20, 20 vision. Cupid hit me, Cupid hit me with precision. I wonder if you look both ways when you cross my mind. We are basically trading our backdrop number two. And then we're going to light it very differently. It'll look like a completely different shoot, basically. And now we can shoot two lookbooks in one day. Oh, yeah. Just sift this through. What we could do is we can grab one of those C-stands and just push up from, the, from behind. Otherwise, it probably will. If you keep shooting, yeah. then we'll do this. I'll do this at the end, man. Hmm? I'll do this at the end, we need to go up. Yeah, I think it's more just so we can figure out if it actually works. Cool. Because if it, does, if it doesn't work, we'll have to think about another, think another set. Probably need all the curtains on. Right now it looks a little bit flimsy, but we are going to make it work. So we just have to basically do all the ruffles in it, make sure they look even. But it's going to be a bit of a job, to be honest. I need to steam the curtain to get all these creases out to get an idea if it's even possible to do this or if it's too big of a task. But this is the backdrop. I, I love and I hate shoots. I love shoots when it goes well, everything goes swimmingly and you're having fun, you're enjoying it. And then sometimes on shoot, there's so much time pressure. Basically, if this works, we're good for time. If it doesn't work, we've got to come up with a new set to somehow get lookbook number two ready. It's like, like watching paint dry. we can hold them in any other way. But I was just thinking we can get the watch in and the gloves and not feel like it's too too much like look at my watch. And then I'd say let's put the ring on the other on the other finger. On the other hand, sorry. Because I think it'll look cleaner with the watch and the gloves. I said I'm sick of sick of sick of sick of chasing. You're the one that's always running through my daydream. I I can only see your face when I close my eyes. So look number three is all done now. This is basically the more street look, which is the work jacket, fisherman knit, the new black jeans and the work boots. And then the last one is gonna be a little bit more casual. So that is the plan. One look, then lunch, and then lookbook number two. Guys, it's fish. Yeah. I mean, lunch is ready, so the sooner we finish this look, the sooner we can eat. Yeah, all right, all good. Feel free to eat. 
So lookbook number one is done, lunch is done. So we basically reset the set and now we're gonna build the set for lookbook number two, which we're gonna have the curtain, new rug, new chair, to basically make it look like a completely different lookbook with different lighting and different everything. So everything moved away, we're gonna move it all into shot again and set up for lookbook number two. I said, okay, 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 do get my infatuation and translate into another form of what you call it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I ain't met you, I've been looking, stop the waiting for, I stop the chasing like an alcoholic. You don't understand me, what the fuck do you mean? It's them roast in the cheeks, yeah, it's them dirt colored eyes. Sugar, honey, iced tea, bumblebee on the scene, yeah, I give up my bakery to have a piece of your pie. Ugh. It's definitely been more of a struggle okay, setting up the right. second scene. I haven't done much, to be honest, on this one. I've been steaming the curtain the whole day. They have killed it, the lighting. Cool. Although it looks like homemade, profile the actual way it's structured is, is crazy. So, super, super yeah. happy with it. It's very different to our first shoot, but I think it's super elevated. Looks clean, but also looks quite expensive at the same time. But the lighting skills are priceless. We do. There's a lot of gaffer tape involved in that. <laughs> Can we try and, and get the curve on the umbrella? Yeah, yeah. So we can see it, there you go, like that, yeah. Yeah, super strong. All right, and then let's do one shot, like looking down on your on the umbrella. Like that, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's the one, guys, right? <laughs> Jesus. I don't pay you 50 quid to just stand there, mate. <laughs> this whole vlog is going to be a new stuff behind the computer. Yeah. So we are now shooting the last two or three looks. We're a little bit in a rush. Um, we're going to rush through it and then we'll speak to you guys when we start packing up for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Now I woke to the I California, mm -hmm. peace frog over goggles. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning out the window, OJ shining on me, Simpson shining on me, Slick surface flow broke off the squad. Can you, can you make him laugh? He's smiling, man. Yeah. What up? What up? Is that funny, no? Well, it worked. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> hey. Now we can start packing up and basically make the whole studio look like how it came when we came in, and then we are done. The time is now quarter past five. We've got to be out at six latest. We've got to be out at six latest. We've got 45 minutes to pack down, so let's get to it. Run it, run it, run it, run it. I run, I roll, I blow, I blow, I blow. The studio is now exactly how we found it. It's basically fully empty. So obviously we used to have our set here, photography stuff here, shoot stuff here. This was all moved around. The table was different. All the clothes were here, hair and makeup here. And this is all the stuff that's left. It is 10 minutes to six. We've got 10 minutes to wrap up and completely finish. I'm gonna finish it all off. And then tomorrow I'll give you guys sort of a rundown of the images we got, the price we paid to shoot here as well. And just some general information about the shoot and that's it i'll see you tomorrow so it is now about two or three days after the shoot wearing the same hoodie basically our total cost for the shoot came out to around 3.8k i'd say our studio was about 1700 pounds all in with lights but then obviously we had to hire a photographer model assistant hair and makeup get the props in etc etc um so pretty much on budget we just didn't want to go over 4k but it's basically to promote the new collection coming out on the 14th of December. If you want to check out the full shoot or the full shots, they're now on the running Instagram. 
And while you're there, maybe drop it a little, a little like maybe. Uh, it helps a lot with the algorithm to get out to more people and just to share the shoot, basically. That is it. That is a day in the life directing a photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.